today we're going shopping here in Fishing Simulator and we're going to check out some game theories as well as drop a couple of codes. If you do enjoy this video throw a like on it, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and we're going to get into this. It's going to be great, let's go. Well, now that we're here, we're in Eliza's office, but we're not going to spend too much time in here. First, I would like to talk about what's hiding behind Mayor Eliza. Excuse me, Miss Mayor, I just need to, you know, get past you for a second. Come on, please, let, let me, let me through, let me through. Mm, she's definitely got a secret she doesn't want us to know about. When we talk to her, this is what happens. Hi there, you must be amazing, I've heard a lot about you. I'm Eliza, the mayor of this little slice of heaven we call Port Jackson. Sorry I haven't met you before, but I've been real busy. That's right, she's been real busy. What have I been so busy doing? Well that's a secret. Mm. I will just have to wait and see what that secret is. But yeah i am going to now theorize what that secret might be now if we look behind her on the wall we will see there are three paintings well one's not actually a painting it looks more like a set of blueprints but let's start with this one right here we've got two chairs like sun lounges a little table in between and a crate and an island with like a little rocky outcrop on the side it kind of looks like it would be... Oh, hello. It just got dark in here. Okay. It kind of... It kind of looks like it was Eruption Island. And I said in my last video, I thought, hmm, maybe that's Eruption Island. But now I'm not so sure. Yes, that's right. I have a theory. It's gotten dark. It's got spooky. It's not quite Halloween, but I have a theory. Let's carry on with the theory. Over here we have a sketch of an aquarium. You can see part of it is like a shell-like structure, clamshell with lots of decorations like Atlantis. There is a double door, two windows, some docks, and you wouldn't normally see an aerial view like that. But there are some letters scattered about inside that area alongside the aquarium. There's letter P, the letter U. What else is there? It's There's some little dots and things like that. It's, it's kind of weird. Look at it. But there are docks there. But do you know what that tells me? It tells me something. It tells me that I think that instead of having the aquarium, which we know exists just on this main island of Port Jackson, I think we're going to get private islands where we have our own aquariums on them and people can visit them. That's right, that's what I think is going to happen. So that would explain the very first picture with the two lounges and the island and then that would explain this picture over here with the aerial view of the docks and the aquarium. Right now we do have an aquarium space but we do know that possibly a future update is a complete aquarium revamp where we can customize it. But what would be a better way to customize it than actually have the island space to do that? So the way it might work, and this is my theory again, that you would go to a dock and where you would press E, you might be able to press uh, T to teleport to somebody's island instead of their aquarium. Let me just show you what happens right now if we go out here. So... If we go all the way over to here, which is the existing aquarium, aquariums this way, we have a door. So where would we go down to the dock and we press E to spawn in our boat and we press E to enter right here. You can see there's a bunch of aquariums for a whole lot of people. But instead of entering an aquarium, we would actually enter their island so we'd end up at the docks of their island and then they would have like everyone would have their own space to expand modulars of their aquarium 
and that, that's where the lounges would be as well and the crate and the little box and all the other bits and pieces so instead of having yeah that's what we would have we would have our own customized islands that would be so awesome like that would be the most awesome thing ever like this game couldn't get any better but it would have that and it would be awesome and someone's sniffing my hair uh, mm -hmm. okay yeah so that is my like a little game theory right there and also what I want to see in this game in the future is a little bit more of a lore tie-in with all of the different NPCs here. Now we know Caster is one of the most hardest working NPCs on any of the islands. He's everywhere at once, he's selling your fish for good market prices and giving you the money for it. He's really busy and the other person that is a really busy NPC is Popperson over here. Popperson is bringing you to all the islands so you don't have to take a boat over and is incredibly busy. But who wants to know a little bit more about these characters and how they tie in together? Maybe they actually are part of families of other NPCs around here and maybe there is a little bit of a lore there and a story to tell like how Popperson became what he is, the balloon operator, and why Caster is the person to sell all your fish, and what does he do with all the fish? Maybe he takes the fish and turns it into something edible or other goods. Who knows? We don't know. But it would be nice to see a lore tie in together with everything as well with some of these other NPCs. And what happened to that explorer who went into the pyramids at Pharaoh's Dunes ahead of everybody else you know once the star opened up that doorway he was in there like a shot where did he go that's a mystery i want to know what that mystery is and i'm sure a lot of other people do too so what my focus is going to be in this game apart from all of that is trying to create a lore that explains why people are the way they are what they do how they're tied into each other and maybe how we can come full circle with this because it's it's such a fantastic game it's so open-ended and it's nice to have those theories going and I love a good theory okay now that we've done that we're going to do a little bit of shopping so this is going to be fun let's first go to the supply shop right here all right hello Finn where is he <gasps> Finn you're a ghost <gasps> What happened to you? Oh, I'm a little creeped out right now. Oh, there he is. Wait, that was weird. That was so weird. I put put this, I was in here with this on, and then I turned it off, and then all of a sudden, Finn appears. I, I am a little creeped out by that. Okay, all right, Finn, let's have a talk to you. Hey there, amazing. Would you like to buy anything? Yes, please. Like, I do want to upgrade my generic fishing rod capability right now I want to max that out so I have the most rarity chance so if you want to earn gems in game do your daily rewards collect chests from all of the different sunken ships complete all of Reagan's quests in the tavern and follow the treasure markers on the different islands to collect bonuses there we go we have max chance right there level 50 50 percent then that is the max rod upgrade. All right, let's look at special items. I already have the creature locator and the fish master. I don't have a torch. I, yeah, I, so I don't know. Why would you, ooh, maybe the torch would be good for caves. All right, we now have a torch just for like, you know, the cool cave stuff, like when we go to do the Moby Whale quest. Let's look at the spears. I haven't had a really good look at these, but let's take a look at the pros and cons of each of them. Before I would basically just grind and grind and grind, sell my fish, and then I would just get a different one, like a different spear based on that. Um, I'm, I'm right now I have in my inventory the Emperor's Javelin, the Chill Spike. I think that's all I've got. Oh, this one's not for sale. Knights run in fear of the spear, abandoning their oaths. Ooh, the Archangel is not for sale. The Black Knight is damage 650, specialty damage is 20% more to damage to all boss monsters. That one's very, very good. And then we're getting into the gem ones as well. So back at the beginning, the Thunderbolt was the best one. Let's go through and see what they've improved with. 
The Moby Spear's specialty is damage buff against Moby Wood. That is also not for sale. I can get the Sun Priest, the Orc Spear, the Long Spear, the Dragon Bane, but I'm looking for something that has a little bit of an extra, like, benefit. I suppose the Black Knight is probably the only one that I can get. Right, so we do have that one equipped. This one, the Jaded Crystal, does a thousand damage and two times double loot and double XP. I'm, I think I'm going to add that one as well. Right, so we've got those two. And I've done all the upgrades there. Let's also check out the backpacks. Right now I currently have... I have the Quantum Barrel. Space for 300. The Fusion Barrel is next one with 500 space. So the Fusion Barrel is the best one right here. I think we'll grab that. So that's now equipped. And that is everything from Finn's store and the fact that Finn was like disappearing on me is kind of scary actually. Right, look at my backpack barrel. It's a lot different now. It's a fusion one, so it's kind of toxic, maybe radiation. Right, let's take a look at the spear I've got here. Oh my gosh, look at the back of it. <laughs> wow, that's insane. Oh my gosh. That is a crazy spear, look at it. So a lot more loot, so this is going to be a good one to do for Moby Whale as well. It does a lot more damage, it's insane. Alright, let's now put that away and head down to the boat shop because there's a few boats that I haven't got, so let's go over. Alright, hello, we are here to check out your boats and let's see if there's anything else you've got. Let's just check out special items and I already have the boat orb. That's the only one. So let's look at boats. Uh, we've got the rowboat that you start with, the little speedboat, fishing boat, speedboat 2 and the yacht. I already have those. This is my armoured boat. It's obviously in my colours but it's a little bit strong on the primary. So I do want to change that up a little bit. I think it's just a little bit... OP. Let's go with candy colors and see if that, that looks a little better. Yeah, that looks definitely looks a little better. I loved the industrial colors that I had before. They were, they were pretty awesome. Let's just unlock these as well. Now we have the full in index of colors. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. Right, that's done. Let's go to the next boat. So the garden boat I already had. The kayak I had too. I never customized it. So Let's change its primary as well. Which one do we want to go for? That one? Secondary colour is the inside of the boat. I'm going to go for my favourite, which is right down in the industrial, which is black. So we'll apply that. And we'll get the candy right there. And the chairs. Oh, the chairs I can make a different colour. Maybe I'll make them into the neons. Yeah, let's let's have a look at the neon colours for that. Let's go with that for neon. And the horn is fine right now. We just leave the horn as is. So that is the kayak done. Golden sailboat I already had, the jet ski I had, and actually I do need to change the trim on that. Let's go for a neon pink. Uh, I didn't have, I did have the airboat, but I never really customized it. That'll do. Okay, so that is done. We already had the airboat. The land boat is looking pretty styly already. The super yacht I don't have, so we're gonna buy that. And let's customize the primary on that. Let's go for the neon black. No, not neon black. Let's go for industrial black. The secondary, that is awesome for the secondary, but I like to make that glass. So let's go for ghost because ghost is the closest to glass. So we're going to put the blue in there like that. And that one is done. And the lights are just leave the same. Right, we don't have the pirate ship, but let's grab it. Uh, we haven't done any upgrades on that. Oh, monster damage. Extra monster damage. Wow. And health. Oh, this one might be good for doing Moby Whale. Is it, but it's not boss monsters. It's just monsters. So 
Mm, maybe not. Like, let's get the Viking boat. That's done. And the houseboat attracts more rare fish. And we definitely want to change around the colours of this. So let's go with that. All right, we'll, we'll do that. I have too many choices now, guys. Oh, oh, that'll do. That looks nice. And the garden. Oh, the garden. Let's just do that as well. Okay, there we go. That one's done. And now we're back to the beginning. So now let's find the best one for taking on Moby. Let's upgrade the block chance on the armored boat. All right, that's maxed out. And equip it. So the like this one is pretty good, actually. It's pretty good. Let's take a look at it. Look, you can see in the distance a new island. Looks awesome. Watcher's Bay is there. Let's put my lights on for a second. All right, we don't have Moby. We don't have Moby yet, but we could probably get Moby in to the server and take it on and test out this new javelin. I just want to fire it out. Oh my gosh, look at it. Wow. Oh, did I not upgrade my speed on this? I probably didn't. Okay, I really need to do that. So I'm going to go and do that real quick. Don't go anywhere, boat. Oh, so the boat wants to spin around in a circle. Armored boat. Oh no, look, it's already at max, so it's pretty slow. The speed is 65. The pirate ship, I can customize the colors. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, okay, here we go. <gasps> what if we did neon pink sails? We're definitely going to upgrade the monster damage. Oh my gosh, this is going to be insane. And the speed. All right, that's now max level. Let's play around with these colors. Now, the top area, of course, I really want to go with my favorite industrial black right there. Let's apply. The primary on the sides, I'm going to go for a really strong colored bright pink, maybe, or uh, the candy. The candy. Yeah, the candy. Let's apply. The ropes. Oh, the ropes. That's they will definitely have to be neons. Wow, I think they're maybe the red. Let's just do red. And this little details right here as well. We'll do some ghost colors maybe. And lights are fine. Okay, that is what we have. It's it's done. It's maxed out. Uh, let's equip it. Oh my gosh, this is going to be insane gonna be insane I want to see what this looks like I'm kind of nervous oh it's blocked but I'm sorry I didn't mean to try and spawn that in there <gasps> whoa oh my gosh this is absolutely crazy look at it look at this pirate ship it's absolutely insane it matches what I'm wearing exactly. It's absolutely crazy. Wow. And it's probably going to be fast as well. All aboard. My boat is going to despawn, so I have to move out. Oh, it did despawn. <laughs> oh my gosh, it did despawn. Okay. Wow, this is insane. This boat is so massive. It's the pirate ship, and it's so like crazy big let's see how fast it is oh my gosh that is awesome look at it go wow i love it i love it oh my gosh we are motoring so i wonder how this is going to fare up against the moby whale so yeah i definitely want to try and attempt to spawn in a whale and see what happens there okay i now have the key it's time to see how quickly i can take down oh but wait we have the mythic ship and i really want to test the spear on the mythic ship uh, because there will definitely be some very big enemies nearby oh my gosh we're so close to it which one's it uh, i'll try this one there. Yep. Oh my gosh. Chonky boys. 
Wow. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's, it's a mythic ship, you see. There's always like these big blue boys around the mythic ship. Wow, I just leveled up. Okay, I think I took them all out. I want to see what I got. There's so much light blue in this. Wow, I can't even do a tight turn. Wow, look, I got a neon orca head. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Um, let's carry on. Wow. Oh my gosh, I got a baby neon killer whale. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Wow. Wow, I've never had one of those before. That's insane. Let me just put that in right now. I want to see it. Wow, that is so cool. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we've done that. That is awesome. Now I'm going to take on the big Moby. And I mean, I don't even know how well I'm going to do against Moby. But I'm hoping the spear is going to do it justice. So we'll see how we go. Okay, here I go. I am now going to test the spear by opening and take on the Moby. Oh, here we go. I might just respawn my boat so it's fully healthy. Right, the sun's about to come up. This is good timing. Where is it? Oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. Okay, I've taken down the Moby. It didn't take very long and I did it on my own, but what did I get for it? That is what I'm really interested to see. So let's grab these. Looks like I got three whale's heads out of that. I'm really after the teeth. Yeah, I got, uh, I got a whole bunch of the heads. Now I have five of them. Good money on those, but what I really want is the mythic. Like I just got the baby neon killer whale mythic, which is amazing. So I'm going to have to keep going on that one to finish one of the quests from Pharaoh's Dunes because that's not been done yet. But what did you think of this? It is, this bear is amazing. It took it down really quickly. Oh my gosh, it's a very, very cool spear. Look at it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go put the baby killer whale, the neon one, the mythic one, in our fish tank. It's going to look awesome. Oh my gosh. Alright, let's look for it now. There it is. Wow. Now I just need to get the red neon shark as well. 
But look at that. We've already got a few of them in there. I just took out one of the eggs, actually. Look at that. Beautiful. These are all huge fish, by the way. All of them are huge. Anyway, if you did enjoy this video on the theory of what's going on in Eliza's office with her secrets and also with the shopping spree and the mythic orca egg and the Moby Whale takedown with this awesome spear, please leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And we're going to catch you again next time for Fishing Simulator when it updates because it's going to be a very special, special thing that I want to share with you then too. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.